MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Dodgers and the Seattle Mariners. Time now to check out the lineup for the visiting Your Dodgers. Who are you focused on, Dan Pleszak? Yeah, Matty, you've got to keep an eye on Yasiel Puig. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Mike Leak is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Mike Leak, former first-round draft pick out of Arizona State University, sinker ball pitcher. He needs to live down in the zone. Mike Leak is real easy to watch early on. If you think he's going to throw well, he's going to induce a lot of ground balls. Three-pitch guy, fastball, sinking action, curveball, and a straight changeup, but he lives and dies with the two-seam sinker. He needs to get ground balls. If the ball's hit in the air, it's usually not a good sign for Mike Leak. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter, Andrew Tolles. He will lead this one off today. Center fielder, Andrew Tolles. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Ambush style. Oh, oh, coming on glued first pitch of the game. Nice knock to the outfield. Next for the Dodgers, Justin Turner passed battles with Mike Lee. He's got a batting average of 444. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's the strike. Turner is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He was selected in the seventh round during the first-year player draft of 2006. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Batting third. Shortstop, Corey Seager. Now in the box, Corey Seager. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hard liner to center field. Gordon is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Batting fourth. First baseman number 35. Coming to the plate now, Cody Bellinger. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! Cody Bellinger puts a pair on the board with that homer. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. So here's Matt Kemp now. Designated hitter, Matt. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Hanniger in pursuit. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. But the Dodgers do strike for two, coming on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 2-0 L.A.
And now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, you better keep an eye on Robinson Cano as this game moves along. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat, clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Alex Wood, a lefty from North Carolina against the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, Matt, if Alex don't light your fire, you're working with wet wood. This is one of the top young left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Sneaky, quick, funky arm angle, 92 to 94, good curveball, one of the more underappreciated quality lefties in the game of baseball. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. The guy I want to spot shadow today is Cody Bellinger. Versatility is his game. The bat plays no matter where he hits in a lineup, but a guy who can play gold glove first base and move to the outfield. So striding in, D. Gordon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half the of the Mariners. first. Center fielder, D. Gordon. First pitch of the at bat. And that one just missed outside. My fastball is in there. The sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Now the one two home to Gordon. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Gene Segura standing in as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Gordon. Gets his lead at first, nobody out. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one, on to first, and they get them both. Batting third, designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Wood gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A ball and a strike. Cruz is really a well balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. None left for Seattle. They trail things here two to nothing. Stepping in, Yasiel Puig, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. 
Hey, you know, Dero, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. And he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Digging in, Yosmani Grandal. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first is in time for the first down. He tried the surprise attack there with the bunt with the runner on base. Hey, he gets thrown out, but it works just as good as a sacrifice. Here's Jock Peterson now. Past battles with Mike Lee. He's only two for ten. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A little bouncer. Here's another 0-2. Hard hit ball to second. Cano fields it cleanly. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Not sure the spin throw was necessary there, but it sure looked good. Would have been questionable if he threw it away, but he put it right on the money for the out. Into the box, Logan Forsythe. Soft liner towards center, and a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Boy, D. Rowe, that's a case right there. He hit it just like he thought it soft. Not hit all that hard, but it gets the runner in from third. Yeah, but you know what? Tomorrow's newspapers are going to be wrapping fish, so who cares? About? I don't care if it's a bullet or off the fists. A knock's a knock, especially when it's got an RBI attached to it. In now, Andrew Tolles. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Oh, one pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to short. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Dan, he's got to find a way to get himself out of this. This is constant traffic, and here he finds himself in the second with two outs, and he's still giving up knocks. Boy, it's about trying to limit the pitch count also. Only in the second inning here, and his pitch count's getting up, up, up. He's had a lot of traffic on the bases, so he really needs to get out of this one right here. Stepping in now, Justin Turner in the air now out to right field. Giving chase is Hedegaard. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Really unfortunate there. Obviously, the runner at second base was going to score easily, but it's possible they could have waved the runner around from first as well. We'll never know, though, as he's forced to hold the runner at third because of the ground rule double. Here's Corey Seager. Hot shot down the line. 
Seager fields it cleanly. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Dodgers four and the Mariners nothing. Here now is Mike Zanino. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Here it comes on one and one. Dear Looks God. like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And he fouls this one off. Grandal is over to take a look, and no one will get this one. The one two. And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And that oh, one stayed low. too low, apparently. Two two is looked at and the count moves full. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. This is pulled into right. Puig is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One two three go the Mariners. They trail here four to nothing. So that will bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's gone. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger, his second of the game, and with it, the Dodgers have opened it up to a 5-0 lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment.
Standing in now, Matt Kemp. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The right fielder, number 66, Yasiel Puig. Standing in, Yasiel Puig. He reached on a single in his first try. First offering on its way. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. One out, nobody on. Yank on the ground down the line. Oh, look at Seeger. Got him. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make a throw, and of course, he did that too. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Two out, nobody on. On, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Line to the right side. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Dodgers five and the Mariners nothing. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Robbie Cano settling in to start out the inning. Cano waits on the first pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. 0-2. Two once more. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. The next O2. Fastball that misses. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Fouled off. To short. Seeger scoops it up. And that's the first out. 
good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll ground this one foul for the first strike. Now the pitch. Back up the middle. Seeger ranging up the middle. And there are two away now. Adding nine. Left fielder, Ben Gamble. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And That's by him for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit. And it's one and two. One and two is the count. And that, that pitch miss. misses ball. to even the count to the Seattle left fielder two at two and two. Wood has his target. 2-2 two -two on its way. Fouled away. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Hisashi Iwakuma will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Hisashi Iwakuma. So stepping in, Jock Peterson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Jock Peterson. Here comes the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. There is Seeger. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Logan Coming to the plate now. Logan Forsythe. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Keeley has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. How about it? The center fielder, Andrew Cole. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter, Andrew Tolles. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's just past the grasp of Cano in the center of base hit. 
And the two out base hit will bring in Justin Turner to bat next. Now batting. They talk about Turner having Turner. a day. How about three at bats, three knocks? Turner. Not a bad day, D Row. We used to say in the big leagues on the bench, anybody can get two. Can you get three? And if you get three, who's on the hook for four? Stepping up now, Justin Turner. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. He's set and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Horton has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. One left for L.A., but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Here's D. Gordon now. One for one after his single this first time up. Center fielder, D. Gordon. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 and 0. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Here's a high pop up. Forsyth. Is there for it. One out. Now. And this is fouled at the plate. Looking to put the ball. A one pitch on its way. A wave and a miss. Now on 0 and 2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. The catcher, number three. Here now is Mike Zanino. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Smoke toward third. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for Seattle. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Ariel Miranda will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. Ariel Miranda. Here's Corey Seager, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Corey Seager. Now here it comes. Popped him up. Segura in foul ground. And this will land foul. Into center field, line drive base hit. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an unbelievable. They've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. Miranda offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off balance swings against it and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. Seager on it first. Nobody out. Right side hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. First pitch of the at bat. Now a bunt attempt here. Oh, and he can't come up with it. 
You know, they say there are no bad hops on the ball in the air, but you wouldn't know it after that play. I'm not sure what caused him to completely miss that pop-up. It doesn't really matter. His pitcher is going to have to pick him up now. And now is Yasiel Puig. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at-bat. The pitcher has to find a way to minimize damage here. Maybe take two outs for one run. Who cares? Get a double play, pop-up strikeout, something to get you back in this inning. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And he is in there. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 6-0 ball game. Now batting. Grandal. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Cano for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Here's Jock Peterson now. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. No hits to this point. No ball. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Dodgers lead it seven to nothing. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. First delivery to him on the way. Missed with a breaking ball. One out. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Turned on down the line. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Third baseman number 15, Kyle Seeger. Ready now, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. Seeger, 30 years of age. He was selected in the third round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. 
One ball, one strike to count. One one. Now the one and one pitch. Takes ah. a pitch for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. The one two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter. Second baseman, Robinson Cano. So striding forward now, Robinson Cano. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Marco Gonzalez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in, Logan Forsythe, one for two in the ball game thus far. Second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Line drive to center field. Gordon is there and he has it for the first down. How about it? Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Into the box, Andrew Tolles. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. In now, Justin Turner, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. High in the air out to center field. Gordon moves over. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Now with the play, Corey Seager. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at bat. A bouncer up the middle. And a diving attempt there by Cano, but he can't pull it in. A base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. 
Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. Cody Bellinger will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Here comes the first pitch. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Hey, he's going to have to set his sights a little bit more over the heart of the plate. I can't have one of my best left-handed power hitters reaching and taking an ugly swing like that. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Back-to-back -back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. The 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number 6. It's the Dodgers 8 and the Mariners nothing. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. ready here's the first offering takes a look at one catching the outside corner I mean the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer he's able to spot it up in when he has to and he's able to go back door behind Owen two now To the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. A ball of no strikes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2 and 1. Oh, man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Two and two. Two and two is the count. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. That's and he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. How about it? 
So back to the top of the Seattle lineup digging in D Gordon a hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch on its way. Owen won the count. Wood has his target. Oh, one pitch on its way. Down the first baseline. Bellinger brings it in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. Still 8 nothing. Back here on the show. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Juan Nicasio comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. In now, Matt Kemp. Lead things off here for L.A., but don't go Leading too far. Yasiel Puig Executive set to Editor. bat next. Trace Thompson is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Popped him up. Seeger in foul ground, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 66, Yasiel Queen. Settling in now, Yasiel Puig, his lifetime line against Nicasio. Not great, he's one for eight. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled to the left side. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D row. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. High in the air. Here to take it is Seeger, and that's out number two. The left fielder, number 31, Jock Peterson. Here's Jock Peterson now. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. P.K. Hernandez will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Oh, and one here. Oh, 
It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets fouled. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Dodgers leave one as the lead holds at eight to nothing. Kike Hernandez will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Number 14, Kike Hernandez. Guillermo Heredia is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Now here's the pitch. Here's the strike. One one home is in there for strike number two. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Andrew Romine will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And oh. that one stayed too low, apparently. Here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to Ed either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. The count now is two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit toward the right side, and this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. The catcher, number three, Mike Zunino. Cameron Perkins will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. A 2 0 count to the Mariners left fielder. 2 0 is the count. Oh. 
Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. To two and two now. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Bellinger. They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score. Casey Lawrence enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Mike Marjima is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Taylor Motter is also into the game as he takes over at short. Digging in, Logan Forsythe. He'll have a Big new pitcher the waiting for him as we begin Jackie their Mason. half of the eighth. Logan Forsythe. First pitch of the at bat. And a neck high strike. fastball that time. Zero. Swing and a miss at a ball down. One one line drive to center field and a knock for him this time he's two for four for the game so a leadoff base hit out of the ninth spot and that sets the top of the How order up nicely here to start the inning even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter Andrew Toll. And is trying to make this a five-hit ball game for himself right here. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Forsythe aboard here at first with nobody out. Ready on 0 and 2. A pull it to first base. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. Third baseman, Justin Turner. Striding in once again, Justin Turner. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. Gamble will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Dodgers go down quietly as it remains an eight to nothing ball game. David Freitas will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eight. Wind up and the 0 1. Heading out towards shallow right. On the move is Puig. One away. Third baseman number. I have to take a look at our starter Kyle comparison Seager. to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. 
Gordon Beckham will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Ball. Low and away with that one, it's 1 and 2. 1 2. Bases are empty. Ready on one and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. A good afternoon of spring training baseball thus far as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven. Here's Robbie Cano now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Yeehaw. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the brake, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just had a knack, D row, of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. Strike one to start the at bat. third baseline that's through and he's got his first base hit he's one for three hey this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board they've been struggling offensively and they find themselves with two runners on board let's see if they can continue it and that'll bring up Ben Gamble as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One and one. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's the one and two. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Mariners leave a couple. Still eight, nothing. David Freitas will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base, number 36. Gordon Beckham is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number one. Gordon Max Pogsy comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one.
digging in and looking for more. Corey Seager, he'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First offering on its way. Swing, high drive, deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Posey, a right hander that stands 6 foot 8. He was selected in the third round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Hit back up the middle, scooped up on the backhand. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm, nicely done. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder, Cody Bellinger. And it's fouled away. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 0 1. Pops this one up. Beckham is there, and that's the second out of the inning. The batter, educated hitter, Wayne Thompson. Now to the plate is the Dodgers' designated hitter, Trace Thompson. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses no, that ball one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Shot to third, and that'll get down for a two-out single. The right fielder, number 66. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yasiel Puig, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. He's set. Here it comes. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Here comes the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He was retired after popping out. In his last at bat, Austin Barnes will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gordon on the move. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple as the lead holds at eight to nothing. Austin Barnes will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Number 15, Austin Barnes. Dan Vogelbach will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Grounded to first. Bellinger's got it. 
And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for Seattle, the shortstop, Taylor Motter. Digging in now for the Mariners, Taylor Motter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one just missed outside. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. The one two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Tuffy goes a which will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last chance for the Mariners. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on 1 and 2. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And it's late to his afternoon of work. And the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. So digging in now, Mike Marjuma. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded down the third baseline. On to first, and that will seal matters here this afternoon. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. Eight nothing the final today. The Los Angeles Dodgers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Alex Wood takes home the win. Mike Leake worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.